long time and um i'd have to say that this just started happening probably um last year sometime and it it just continues and i just wondering if anyone's experienced that kind of uh interception in their phone calls in fact i found a sound clip that sounds similar to what i hear whenever the interference you know happens whenever i'm on the phone i will play the sound bite at the end of this video to show you what it kind of sounds like to me and i'd like to know if y'all have this uh, same experience when you're on the phone and also my phone you know that weather app that that you can set it up for where you live and it gives you the you know the temperature for your town and stuff like that well mine got changed to a place in china and this place in china had this um, demonic looking um statue that was kind of laying on its side i don't know i i don't remember what the uh, name of the city was but i did take screenshots but since uh, my pink computer isn't working and uh, oh and the update on that it's not the power supply it's the uh, motherboard which that's also under warranty so I'll be you know replacing that thank goodness I thought to get warranty but um so I can't get the picture from that computer because I can't turn it on I mean I could probably take the hard drive out and you know move it to my other computer but I don't want to take any chances but um, I just know I had a statue that looked like it was laying on its side and and that was where the my uh, weather app kept changing I mean it was always the same area like I change it back and then a couple of days later it would be set back o over on this China um, city or whatever giving me the um, temperature there and it always had 66 um, on with it uh, associated with that and um, and then my phone would sometimes even just flash 666 and it just seemed like my phone was demonically possessed that's what it seemed like to me and you know doing things on its own and and I just wanted to know if anyone else is experiencing things like that I don't know if my phone was hacked or something and that's why it was doing that um, there was this a uh, uh, video that I had saw where this um, this man from China he had made a app that somehow embeds itself in other people's phones and that he can actually control somebody else's phone and change their pages uh, he can even type ma um, he can even type messages and you know just mess around with your phone and stuff like that and I don't know if that's what was going on but all I know is that um, I'm still experiencing the same problem and um, I would just you know like to know if anyone else's and especially ex and especially those weird sounds like you know demonic sounds that I was hearing that would interfere you know during my phone conversations and sometimes after I hear those demonic s sounds um, it would drop the call or sometimes I'd be able to s continue talking and sometimes me and the other party could hear the demonic sounds and sometimes it's just one or the other and so I you know just wanted to to find out and see if anyone else is experiencing weird things like that and then I w wanted to talk about the demon spirits because um, I don't know if you know this but scientists have come up with some kind of device or something they're trying to open up the pits of hell and then you know we had the Mayans a couple of years ago that was trying to bring all the crystal skulls together so they can open up the pits of hell and I think there was another type of incident where they were trying to do something to open up the pits of hell so you know if they did um, do that then you know that could explain a lot you know with the demon possessions and um, you know like like for instance I've been doing the ministry online for a very long time and I've been talking with the the lost souls you know people who are not believers in Jesus for a very long time and I noticed that when I first started you know yeah I got cussed out you know and stuff like that but um, sometimes you you can hear in the person that they had doubt you know they didn't know what to think or believe and they were a little um, easier to talk to and I've noticed that nowadays when you talk to a lost person that's in the world they're harder to talk to they're stubborn and they're stuck where they're at and they don't want they don't want to hear anything that you you have to say and they're stern in their belief that there is no God and there nothing that you say will change that you know that's 
I've noticed that it's it's gotten a lot stronger. And then also I've noticed that people who are possessed um, that think that they're, um, you know, something like, um, something that they're not, I'll just say it like that. Um, and you sit there and tell them, you know, God doesn't make a mistake. You know, you're, you're wrong. And um, they'll sit there and argue and stay really, really strong with whatever it is that they think that they are. You know, they will not back down. It's like the demonic spirits are very, very, very strong right now. And people are being controlled. And a lot of people don't know this, but demonic spirits can influence you in so many ways. It can plant memories. It can um, actually talk through you. It's terrible, but it's true. Like, I've noticed that some people who are demonically possessed, they seem like they got two personalities, and sometimes more. And, like, one personality seems like the person that you actually know. And then later, if something gets brought up that um, triggers it, they'll act like a totally different person. Like, double personality disorder, you know. And I've experienced this firsthand, and it just seems like the... The spirits that are in these people are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But I also have noticed that the people who are worshiping Jesus, that are watchmen on the wall, and, you know, that love Jesus with all their heart, I've noticed that there's been a change in them too. And it's positive that they're getting closer and closer with Jesus Christ every step of the way. And they just seem, you know, they're getting more pure. It's hard to explain. I see this with my eyes, you know when I see people and sometimes when I look at people I don't I don't know why this happens but I can tell sometimes by looking at them if they have a demonic spirit because I see like a second face plain it's like I can see the evil in them and it and it shows like in this evil face and it's like I see that face and then I also see their original face and then sometimes I can't tell at all and you know, so I notice things like that. I'm very sensitive with uh, picking up on people's uh, attitude, like um, people who are carrying a um, an attitude of they don't, they're not showing much love. They're just judgmental. They're just they're not really trying to help nobody. They're just out to destroy people or to insult or bring people down. That's their main goal, and I've seen a lot of that going on and it seems like these people who are not praying and repenting and turning away from their sins they're just getting more and more deeper into these dark spirits and and then the more they fall into it it's it's impossible for anyone to pull them out of it it seems like it seemed like it would take jesus himself to be able to pull them out of this you know i still pray i keep praying for them I keep ch telling them to pray and repent and you know sometimes the people that are um, around me that I notice that have problems like this uh, they say that they repent and they pray but they will not pray in front of me they won't pray in front of anyone but I don't know for sure if they are praying but I hope that they are praying because it's very important and I hope that they're praying daily to keep their garments clean and we have to keep our vessels closed only for the Holy Spirit and Jesus. That's that's who fills our cups, you know. But if we're not careful, um, Satan and his demons can fill that cup for us. And because we're open, you know, you can't leave yourself open for demonic possession. You have to keep the doors closed. The way you keep those doors closed is by praying and repenting and seeking Jesus, you know, with all of your heart. That's how you can prevent being possessed by demons. And, um, and pray a lot and read the Bible. And when you repent, mean it from your heart. Like, you know, not just say the words, but actually mean what you say. And stay close with Jesus. And, you, and the demons, they don't like that. And they're not going to want to occupy a human being that's doing that. They're, they're not going to like that. That's, that's not a good home for them. They're going to find somebody that doesn't do that and try to, you know, occupy that person. So just... Keep yourself prayed up and, and stay away from things that could be a portal. Like sometimes TV shows, movies, certain type of movies, they, they could be a portal for, for demonic spirits to attack you. So just be really careful because we're living in that time where I really feel that demonic spirits are out and they're seeking people to, um, to connect themselves to. 
and if you're not praying and staying close to Jesus this demonic spirit will enter into you and if it does it will take control over your whole life it will be stronger than your own personality it'll, it'll take over you if you have a demonic spirit you can you can guarantee that the things that you normally don't like they will have you doing those things and you won't realize why you're doing it you'll just be like that's weird i usually don't like that kind of stuff but for some reason i've been enjoying it you know it they will take control you will not be in control they will be in control and right now their influence is so so strong that you take a, a back seat and they become the driver and you're just sitting in the back seat and they can make you do some horrible ter terrible things that could land you in jail you know and you're and you're sitting in jail and be like what happened they'll make you black out you could lose time you don't know what happened you did something horrible when you blacked out demonic spirits are really really bad and they're really serious some people try to excuse them as a mental disorder or something like that but they're actually demonically possessed so please um, pray repent stay close with Jesus all right thank you God bless you all all right bye well I found the sound that I'm hearing on my phone it's the same exact sound that I'm hearing I did a search on YouTube to see if maybe by chance there might be somebody else that was experiencing the same issues that I was with the, you know with the phone and there is but my phone is a LG G2 LG light and our phone service is uh, through AT&T and um, we live in Texas we've been hearing unusual sounds and it sounds like a male breathing and it I mean this is what it sounds like like somebody sniffling or sniffing and are just going <laughs> like that you know and um, I thought the person that I was talking to just had a runny nose and so I didn't really think about it too much but then I what what caught my attention that it wasn't him that you know that he didn't have a runny nose um, he would say uh, be right back I gotta go to the bathroom and he would set the phone down and then I would hear that that sound when he wasn't at the phone the sniffing sounds I could hear that while I was you know talking with somebody on the phone and you know um, it didn't interfere with our conversation it just I could hear that sniffling sound but every once in a while I could hear um, that also whenever I heard the strange uh, demonic sounds but they're not always the same sometimes they sound a little bit different well I couldn't say whether or not it's because of bad poor quality phone you know service I, I really can't say for sure all I know is I'm experiencing the same thing that a lot of people are experiencing quite often I mean this ha this was um, happening with us since last year you know and it just continued um, I think it was like middle of the year last year or something like that then I also noticed that my settings were being messed with as if there's um, somebody messing with my phone um, like hacking it or something but it could be demonic I don't know but I just wanted to you know share this with y'all because um, you know it is kind of strange I wish we could figure this out if anyone else is hearing these strange sounds um you know please say something make a video or something you know i would like to figure out why we're having these strange sounds all right i love you all okay thank you bye-bye
Hey, it's Lynn Liaz, January 3rd, 2014, and check out my post um, for all my YouTube fans here. Check out my post. I'll have the link provided below after I get the story up and going, but it's very significant. It has to do with the God particle and um, portals, satanic portals, and the bottomless pit. There's a video by BP Earth that I have posted there. It's extremely interesting and with everything that's going on, I think it's urgent that you watch this video and listen to what this man has to say. Um, right here there's an article from a couple days ago, scientists behind God particle discovery preparing to solve more mysteries. It says uh, preparations for a dramatic follow-up to the discovery of the God particle will be taking place at the Large Hadron Collider LHC throughout 2014. The giant atom smashing machine is currently shut down as technicians and scientists work on its upgrade. That's right, they are upgrading it to make it more powerful. Um, by the end of the year, they should be ready to boost its particle energy from 8 trillion electrovolts or, and your guess is as good as mine there, Terra Electron Volts, there you go, to 14. This will allow it to perform the highest energy particle collisions ever attempted. A new series of experiments due to resume early in 2015 could take scientists into an uncharted realm of physics known as beyond the standard model. It opens up the possibility of solving the riddle of dark matter, finding evidence of a far-reaching cosmic concept known as supersymmetry, and even discovering signs of extra hidden dimensions that help explain the mystery of gravity. Now, let me tell you this real quick before I go. Um, every nation, including the most recent now, um, is contributing financially to this. Every nation globally. This is such an important thing for some reason, which BP Earth explains his take on that, so be sure to listen to it. Every nation is taking part in financially aiding this, including globally tax dollars. Not just, um, you know, the westernized half of the world, but the whole world Globally, their tax dollars are contributing to this. So watch BP Earth's video. Make sure you check it out. Um, this is big news. It really is. It's big news. I was going to show you here, but I guess, let me get this off the screen. Let's show you what he says. He says, the key to the bottomless pit. Top world researchers are attempting to open other dimensions. Um, I wrote... Um, this is my article unpublished. I'm getting ready to publish it. Um, I wrote, they're calling it the God Particle. They're upgrading it. By the end of the year, they hope to have its energy boosted significantly. Um, the question is, why would billions of taxpayer dollars from all over the world and hundreds of scientists be working on this God Particle project? Again, BP Earth explains it um, to you. This is huge. So be sure and check it out. Thank you. January 3rd, 2013. This is what we talked about on the Blog Talk show today, guys, and it's very interesting, and it is in perfect timing with what we've been talking about. We've been talking about the Locust Army, what it is, demonic army, and more importantly than that, how to protect yourself. But, guys, we're starting to see the technical side as well as the spiritual side of this. And as we dig deeper each day, it becomes more clear what is going on. Now, it's called the Large Hadron Collider, LLC, and they set it for a massive power boost. Now, what it, it, they're doing is, like it says, it's paving its way for a dramatic follow-up to discovering what they call the God Particle. It says, according to researchers, work on the upgrade would be taking place throughout 2014, and by the end of the year, it's going to have its particle energy boosted from 8 trillion electrovolts or tera electrovolts TEV, and you see these on our charts of the solar blast, to 14 trillion volts. They're building up their supply. This thing uses so much energy that for three months during the winter, they have to shut it down so that the area in Geneva, which is on the border of France and Switzerland, so they have enough electricity for heat. 
another thing amazing about it, guys, is suddenly it's a rush from the world powers to contrib- contribute billions to this cause. Israel is the latest to just join. Now, why, in, with the world in its condition, austerity throughout Europe, the U.S. is in trouble economically. The whole world is. It's being propped up. But why now would billions of taxpayer dollars from every nation in the world and hundreds of scientists be working on this God particle project? I'm going to tell you what I think it is. But it says the refurbishment opens the possibility of solving the dark matter's mystery, finding proof of a far-reaching cosmic concept called supersymmetry, and even finding signs of extra hidden dimensions that help resolve the mystery of gravity. That's what the report in the supersymmetry says that for every matter particle, there exists a corresponding force carrying particle as well. This goes to back to Nikola Tesla, to Einstein, and MC square. E is equal to MC square. Now the whole project there in Geneva is based around a particle beam generation, the colliding of particles to see what happens in these giant electromagnets like like you're seeing. And Tesla was the first human that we know of in modern times that explained this energy and, and designed it. He had these giant electromagnets. He had also particle beam weaponry designed. But it says the Large Hadron Collider sends protons at nearly the speed of light to crash together at about 600 million times a second when the machine is turned back on at a higher energy. In early 2015, it will collide protons at nearly twice that rate, more than a billion times per second. Scientists need to sort, store, and analyze the data, and that takes a lot of computing power. Guys, now we're talking about the technological side of the beast. They're using two supercomputers now, Geneva, Geneva, Switzerland, excuse me, and down in Italy. Now they're building one in uh, Budapest, Hungary, a third computer. Why would they not have them all in the same place, guys? Did you know that they have already been from Switzerland to Italy underground 400 miles a beam greater than the speed of light much greater than the speed of light through a fault zone that runs next to Rome now this is inside the Geneva Switzerland complex it's 300 feet underground guys it's a giant two circles. It's a giant two circles, 27 kilometers, 19 miles, 300 feet underground. It's resonating frequencies at the speed of light all the way through the fault zones into Italy. And it's about to do a third computer setup again in Budapest. It makes a perfect equilateral triangle. I'll show you that. It says it's the uh, collider accelerates beams of prote- protons and brings them into collision inside the four large detectors, Atlas, Atlas, CMS, and LHCB. Particles are injected into the HLC, or the collider, at 450 gigavolts and boosted to 4 billion volts, nearly 10 times their injection energy. It's a giant amplifier, and it gets resonating in here so guys, or so fast, guys, that they almost can't control it. And what's amazing, if you've seen the uh, Steve Quayle report on the Hagman show, it said the last time they fired this up that it was almost opening dimensional ports like a stargate. There were reports that people were seeing coming in and out of different dimensions, giants, police were called. More info on that on the video on the website. But it says... At these energies, a proton completes roughly 11,000 laps every second, 19 miles 
11 times in a second. They're having to keep it at 300 feet underground because it's at that <clears throat> depth, you're almost at zero degrees Celsius. You're, it's cool. And it has to stay cool. But guys, they're talking about portal dimensioning openings like Stargate. It gets better. Hold on. Now, guys, this technology, they've been dealing with this since the 50s. But this is outside the buildings in Geneva at the CERN location. And this is at a dedication of Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction that's outside. It's kind of like the Denver airport omens. Notice that ring, like these giant electromagnets. But it says that Shiva does a dance between dimensions, between the earth and the heavens and between the spiritual dimensions. It's talking about this dance of electrons between these dimensions. But Sh Shiva is the destroyer. Now, who would want to open a port to let the destroyer in? Now, at the bottom, you see, this is part of the way a linear collider works. It's large underground sections and tunnels that increases acceleration to tremendous speeds. Again, 11,000 laps, 19-mile loop in a second. And again, guys are about to boost this energy beyond control, if you ask me. Now, it's important to understand what I'm saying here. It's like Robert Oppenheimer that was given the technology and information on how to build a nuclear bomb. And what did he say? He said, I, I have become death. Now, these guys you see sitting around here congratulating one another think they've been handed extreme technological ad advances. When the same, what's happening is they've been handed the key to disaster. They've been handed a way to build the instrument needed to open the dimension to the bottomless pit. Stay with me. Now, remember in Revelation, I think it's chapter 5, it says the angel came down that had the key, are you listening, to the bottomless pit. Now, these guys are trying every way they can to open these dimensional portals, portals, and they've got countries from around the world contributing B, and suddenly, why? Because, guys, everyone on this earth are, is not children of God. You think they may be getting wet, ready to open a portal to welcome their father, to welcome destruction. That's what Shiva is in the background in that ring of fire. Now, again, I think there's a few people in the top echelon that actually know what's going on. But this is where, again, they discovered the boson particle, B-O-S-O-M, called the guard, God particle. And now they want to shut it down and boost it up tremendously to see how, what else they can open. And on Shiva's head, there's a symbol called the third eye. And it's exactly like the a symbol that you see on the Star, Stargate movies. Exactly that's where they took it from. On the plaque that's below that statue, they talk about this. It says, however, at the CERN Linear Accelerator Center Super Collider Hadron this is a statue of the dancing Shiva is giving pride and position. I talked about this on the, uh, the show the other day. The lady called in from Florida talking about the dances above and below is the same as above as it is below. There's a cosmic dance. Listen. Cosmic dance of energy back and forth between the physical realm and the zero point field. A constant creation and destruction of matter from the void. The continuous flow of energy in and out of the material world is the cosmic dance of Shiva. Guys, I know your, your ears are opening. The experiment marked the first time the creation of matter from radiation has been directly observed. Pair production, the formation of a positron and an electron, happens when electromagnetic energy interacts with matter. 
This is the cosmic dance of Shiva, not the propaganda of the Vatican. The Shiva is a corpse eating a man, or that the Shiva is a corpse eating a man or covered in ashes with a snake as a kunda, Lena, pet. Now, <clears throat> regardless of, of what Shiva represents, we know we're children of God and Christ is our Savior. I'm going through history and technological points here. The statue is a gift from India, celebrating CERN's long association with India, which started in the 60s and continues strongly today. It goes on to talk about the unveiling. In the Hindu religion, the form of the dancing Lord Shiva is known as Nataraj and symbolizes Shakta uh, or life force. As a plaque alongside the statue ex explains, the belief is that Lord Shiva danced the universe, or you listening, into existence and motivates it and will eventually extinguish it, the destroyer. Carl Sagan drew the metaphor between the cosmic dance of the Nataraj and the modern study of the cosmic dance of subatomic particles. Goes on to talk about it was a wax casting from India. Now, guys, this is in Geneva. Remember, there's 19 miles and more of underground tunnels there at 300 feet. But this is up where you park. This is in the main building. I want you to think, have you ever seen this structure before? I know you have in one of my videos, and some of you guys that keep up with this, you have too. Also, before I go down, I want to mention this about CERN, and this is what I was talking about, waking and giving rise to the technological beast it says the world wide web began at cern it's a project called inquire and this should initiated by tim burns lee and robert callaway in 1990 it said they were uh, honored for this by the association for computer machinery in 1995 it says that based on the concept of hypertext the project was aimed at facilit facilitating sh uh, sharing information among researchers. The first website went online in 1991. On the 30th, 30th of April, 1993, CERN announced the World Wide Web would be free to everyone. There was a, there's a copy of the original first web page. But, guys, this is the control center. Now, this is CERN in Geneva. Again, they needed another supercomputer. Italy. Now they're building the third in that perfect triangle in Budapest. Enough computer power to run the world internet to keep up with everything that's going on. The technological side of the beast. Now guys, they broadcast over underground from 300 feet underground all the way through this fault zone that runs above Italy to Grand Sasso. Then now they're building to Budapest, Hungary, see this triangle? The three main computers, they're sending these electromagnetic magnets to Florida. They're already in Illinois. Heads up, be safe.